Padam Sri Dr. Poonam Suri sir in his latest address has asked has urged, urged our V teacher to give a short moral lesson to the children so they become a real deviant so they become a good citizen so they become a good human being so one moral lesson just one is that take responsibility take your personal responsibility and help your parents at home try to develop more, uh, the life skills learn something that you do not know fine so i do to saxena once again welcome you on this platform for this session and i hope you are enjoying your studies you are well connected to your teachers you are doing your work you are showing your enthusiasm and it is very good this positivity is very much required very much uh, is the need of the time we are studying so much and you have to learn so much you have to practice and move forward you have to be the better version of yourself fine so uh, we are going to study today i just let me ask few questions since science is all about questions asking why why it happens like that metro runs on the track why the tire is of rubber why the copper wire is used for the conductivity of electricity how the electricity is being transferred to your home how the simple activity of boiling water takes place have you wondered have you wondered how a polar bear survive in extreme climatic condition have you ever thought why the ventilation is on the top have you ever seen the fish seller how they keep the fishes in that thermocool box why have you seen the casseroles at your home what is that leery have you seen the high ceiling what is the significance there are so many questions why it happens why it is like that why you are sitting at home due to this corona why got so here my question is how you can make how you can differentiate a colder object and hotter object simple reply by touching ma'am what's the big deal here i'll touch the object and find out whether it is hot or cold so what is the difference between hot and cold is it relative is the cold object cannot be hot or the hot object cannot be cold suppose i give you a cup of tea and you have forgotten to pee uh drink the tea for a while what happens to the tea it becomes cold where does it heat go went where does it heat went it was hotter when i served you but now it is colder where all the temperature went where it went you are correct very much correct you know everything in the universe tries to attain balance and equilibrium so that they are living in harmony if someone is more it wants to give to some other other object so that they come into balance in this case if i keep the boiling water just like that because it has more heat it will give the heat to its surrounding because its surrounding is having less heat whereas when i keep the cold water here it will give away the coldness right no 
it won't give it the coldness in, in fact it will take the heat from the surrounding to maintain the balance interesting very interesting you know in earlier time this heat energy was supposed to be fluid you know what fluid is fluid is uh, liquid uh, when you see honey honey is uh, a little denser when water it is a little thinner but uh, when we talk of honey it is thick so it was in earlier time heat was supposed to be fluid which flows from the higher level to the lower level but later on it was found that it is just the form of energy what is energy think try to recall what is energy you have studied in standard 6 you have recall that is correct energy is the capacity of doing work work so how do you find out ki whether the work has been done or not by energy we have studied plant it used solar energy to prepare its food so it is doing work it means that energy is doing work to bring some change one more example a simple one uh when some when an object is has more heat its particle is in rapid movement just think yourself in the recess time or the games period i wish you get the games period very soon very sooner than later uh so what i observed in games period you are very much energetic you are running here there here there you enjoy a lot and since you are very energetic your movement is very rapid but there after you are having a subject you that you do not like how do you sit in the class you sit still you don't take interest you are lazing around means your energy is less so difference between the higher energy and lower energy if something has more heat it will try to just one small activity i'm going to perform to show the heat transfer this time i have taken steel plus well you can see can you see the droplet see the droplet why what is this see the droplet you know why there is the droplet around the glass because there is ice in it so what do you conclude it says this glass is saying that the heat is being transferred and we have just studied a heat transfer from higher to lower where the heat is more it will give the heat to the place where there is less heat now since ice has less heat and the surrounding has there is imbalance of heat temperature there is the difference in temperature so what has happened here the heat has flown heat has flown to this direction and this water drop droplet since you know that uh, in our environment there is moisture in it uh, water vapor is around so when it is coming to and you know the water cycle how uh, the water evaporation and condensation and precipitation you all know that so see here is the precipitation how precipitation is happening how condensation and so here the um, water vapor is there in the surrounding it is coming in contact with the cold glass 
and it is turning into since it is water water uh, in the vapor form and at the moment it touches since heat is transferred from higher to lower it is transferring here and turning into water and that's why this glass is perspiring is sweating so it says that heat transfer it's not that this coolness is transferring it is that the heat is transferring to this ice to balance it when it will become total water it when the temperature of this water becomes the um, uh, uh, when the temperature of this water is equal to the temperature of its surrounding there the transfer of heat will stop this is the small activity to show how heat transfer so this is it and uh, uh, there will be a short slide okay and stay safe stay happy and uh, keep learning thank you and here we go with a small video on heat and how it transfer what is the difference between heat and temperature and we are quite familiar of the term hot and cold you know when a kettle of water is placed on a stove it comes in contact with fire then gradually water gets warmer and finally water wa boils so how do you describe this change we say that the heat condition or thermal state of water has changed this change has taken place because heat from the fire or flame has entered or transferred into water this heat has converted normal or cold water into boiling water thus a cold body becomes hot on absorbing heat on the other hand a hot body becomes cold when heat is released from heat you know you don't have to uh, get worried by seeing this long text it is simple that what hot object and cold and what is the difference between heat and temperature heat is a form of energy and temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body heat can do a work but temperature cannot do work and it is heat which is measured in joule whereas temperature is measured in uh, celsius kelvin and heat is transferred from the hot area to cold area heat and temperature increases when heat heated and decreases when cooled means when we give the energy when we give the heat to heat energy to the object it becomes hot and when we take away the heat from the object it becomes cool and there are things uh, temperature is a measure of degree of hotness it's simple and uh, i hope that this chapter is quite clear thank you thank you very much